The only two songs I know by BTS are Dynamite and Butter, which I know is super surface level. So for the next seven days, I'm gonna listen to nothing but BTS to see why so many people love them. Rule is I have to listen to every album in order of release at least once before I listen to anything twice. Bonus rule is I have to make some kind of social media content using one of their songs. I'll choose my top three songs from each album. And then at the end, I'll choose my top three songs overall on my top three albums. Honestly, I know it's a lot. So like whenever you watch this video, odds are that my choices will have changed. Outside of the two songs that I mentioned, the only thing I know about BTS is that they're a boy band from South Korea and there are six members, I think, and one of them is named Suga. <laughs> I just never paid attention to them or anything surrounding K-pop. Like I knew it was there, but I just never gave it any of my time. In fact, the only Korean artists that I know, South Korean specifically, are Psy, Keith Ape, and Blackpink. So if you're like me, then here's a quick recap of who BTS is. BTS, which stands for Bangtan Boys or Bangtan Sonyeondan, which translates to Bulletproof Boys Scouts. Also, let me just go ahead and apologize for any mispronunciation of names. Korean words, Japanese words. I mean, I'm trying here. Anyway, they're from South Korea and are made up of seven different members. I was wrong. Their debut album was in 2013. And since then, they have impacted and influenced so many with their diverse music styles, their music videos, and lyrics that touch different topics like self-love, youth, mental health, and social issues. They are known globally and their fans are known as the ARMY or just ARMY and there's a lot of them. They have won a lot of awards and are also known for their philanthropy efforts. I could add a lot more, but as of right now, most of the members, if not all, are currently doing their mandatory military service but they're making a comeback in 2025, I think. All right, let's get it. On my way to work, starting with the first album, which is Too Cool For School. First song is intro, Too Cool For School. <laughs> so anyway, this album's only 20 minutes and my ride to work's about 20 minutes, so I should finish this album by the time I get there. I didn't know what to expect, but I was loving these first couple tracks and uh, I mean, I couldn't tell you a single word that was said, but I could tell you that we're spitting. I hope this also goes without saying, but because it's Korean slash English, I hope you just know that I'm gonna look at the lyrics because I gotta understand what they're saying to fully understand the song because I'm not just gonna pick a song based off the beat. Although, this song, We Are Bulletproof Part 2, mm, good. I finished the rest of the album by the time I got to work and had a few minutes to spare and I read the lyrics and let me just say shout out to genius.com for the translations. Let's just hope they're right. My top three for Too Cool for School are No More Dream, We Are Bulletproof, Circle Room Cypher with Like as an honorable mention. And as I went home, I listened to Oh Are You Late Too and my top were No, Cypher, Attack on Bangtan. I feel like I'm not saying that right. Again, I apologize. To me, No just had a good message, like a fight the system or fight the stereotype kind of message. And I thought it was good. Before I listen to School Love Affair, I'm just gonna assume that it's like a bunch of love songs, which I ain't got no problem with, but that's, that's just what I'm gonna assume. So I listened to the entire album on the way to work, and at this point, you'll just have to assume that I'm reading the lyrics, because I mean, I, I kind of have to. <laughs> My top three from that album were Boy in Love, Jump, and Just One Day, and I had Tomorrow as an honorable mention. Just One Day was just like a nice little groove, like had me dancing in the car and everything. <laughs> and after I got home, I had to elevate my feet because I've been dealing with this nagging pain in my foot. And while I was doing that, I listened through Dark and Wild. From that album, I really liked Danger, Hip Hop File, and Look Here. I'm honestly curious as to what songs from this album people like the most, because for me, I'm just not into the boy band love songs as much. But you can kind of tell that this album is clearly talking about love, broken hearts, or don't play with my love type of stuff. So I wonder what they are. It's time to go for a run. If you're new around here, then um, I run sometimes and currently training for a marathon. I'm listening to the next album, which I cannot remember the name at the moment, but it's this one. Uh, yeah, whatever. And I really didn't think about it with their music specifically, because like with other music, I know the language. So like as I'm running, I can at least understand. Um, but this time, I don't know the language. So like, how am I gonna remember, you might be asking, what song to choose while I'm running? Well, let me tell you, while I'm running, usually I'll have my phone and I'll take my phone out of my pocket or if I have it in my hand, I'll just open up the notes app, make a quick note and then move on. So that's how I usually do it while I'm running and pick songs and all that stuff. If you're curious, I have a interval workout. Specifically, it's called Pyramid Intervals and uh, here's what I gotta do. I'm low key not looking forward to it, but I love and hate these workouts. I'm sitting here debating if I should listen to um, Wake Up Standard Edition because some of the songs on that album, they're just the Japanese versions of songs that they already did. So it's like, 
do I spend time listening to them or do I like just listen to I decided to listen to it anyway because I feel like the Japanese versions maybe they have a different flow you know with the Japanese language even though the lyrics should be the same or more or less the exact same but I, I think it's cool that they offer it in different languages so I feel like I might as well have the full experience. I will say that I did like the line part two and wake up. I mean, I can obviously tell it's a different language, but I don't know if I have a preference between the two. And this could be my own ignorance, but like if you only speak English and you're a huge BTS fan, like do you have a preference of song language or is it a song to song basis kind of thing? I've been taking these Magic Mind mental performance shots recently and I'm just gonna say, I personally feel a difference. I feel more like ready to focus, ready to take on any task for the day. So I would say if you want to check it out for yourself, you should follow that link in the description below. Or just go to matchmind.com backslash rally. Man, that's so loud. After I was focused at work, I spent the rest of the day cleaning a little and with the fam, but I did get through the most beautiful moment part one and my top three from that album were Dope, Intro, and Boys With Fun. And I had I Need You as an honorable mention. Dope was so good and I don't know why, but I was just feeling that song a lot. I know I'm only like halfway through, at least I think I am, but like the album that I'm on now compared to the first album is like, well, maybe not completely different, but it's different. But it's almost like they use their hip hop bass to influence the different styles of music that they're doing now. But today I got through the most beautiful moment in life part two and the most beautiful moment in life, Young Forever. After reading some lyrics, I personally chose Run, I think it's Whalian, is how you pronounce it, 52, and Ma City with Butterfly and Autumn Leaves as honorable mentions. Also, as I was listening to A Beautiful Moment in Life, Young Forever, that I realized that it was a combination of the two albums previously. And I was like, bruh. I still listen to it all. Let me just say, after getting through that album, I would change my top three from the Beautiful Moment in Life part one, because next time I see Abigail, I'm gonna be like, I need you, girl. That song has just been in my head, along with the song Run. Speaking of Run, I did like the Run Ballad remix and Burning Up and the intro from the Young Forever album. And honestly, I feel like they haven't really missed with the intros to their album. There's a storm approaching. Oh! Don't you love it when a storm starts right when you need to leave to go somewhere? So my road trip in this rainy weather is uh, <laughs> about four to four and a half hours long. So there's a possibility that I will finish the rest of their albums in that trip. I really don't know how much time I have left. So what I'll do is make, make little video notes for myself then go read the lyrics and then decide based off of that. I'm just trying to be as transparent as possible. So I know I already heard the song Fire, but like hearing it in the Japanese version, it reminded me of how good that song was. Also at this point, I feel like I should just try to learn Korean or Japanese. I mean, I watch anime, which most of that's in Japanese, if not all of it. I don't know, Duolingo, hit me up. Tentatively, I'm gonna go with Wishing on a Star, For You, and then Good Day. That might be the only three songs that are not duplicates but that's what I'm going with. Out of those three I like the lyrics for good day the best. I'll also add that I had a couple good moments throughout the trip. Man I just whoa camera's moving. <laughs> I just finished the song live and all I gotta say is I hope that the lyrics are as good as the song sounds. Cause it was good. I was enjoying it. Oh man it was good. Hey mama that song that song sounds like uh sounds like uplifting. I mean, I'm judging this based off of lyrics I don't know. So, I mean, it, it just sounds like an uplifting, feel-good song, you know? Uh, Dear Future Rally, the album Wings was bumping. Top to bottom, it's all good. Got a little slow songs every now and then, because you gotta have that. But ended on the song Interlude, woo! I just, I just hope the lyrics justify what I'm feeling right now. We have arrived. I know it's dark, but it's also late, and I'm tired. Welcome to my Airbnb. That's what me and my friends call it, Airbnb. Right here we have a couch for couching, and a table for tabling. A chair for chairing, and a fan for fanning. Yourself. A little table to sit at, and ponder your thoughts if you want. A kitchenette, if you will. A shower for showering. The mirror that rotates. Ooh, ooh. The bed, ooh. The mattress is comfortable. And a TV for TVing. That's me, that's your boy. You should go watch that video. And then this part is my favorite part of the entire place because I can practice my Ninja Warrior skills. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Once I got settled, I read up on some lyrics 
They chose my top songs, which from Wings, it was Lie, Cypher 4, and Blood, Sweat, and Tears with the whole album as a honorable mention. As I was reading the lyrics, I did notice that each member had their own song, which was interesting because they were all different. And then I saw this where in a V Live by RM, he said this where he mentions the seven solo songs, which were Begin, Lie, Stigma, First Love, Reflection, Mama, and Awake. And then he adds some more of the description, which you can continue to read that if you would like. But I just think it's cool. I don't know if they did that in the other albums. I really wasn't paying attention then, but I just noticed it this time. I think overall the album Wings is kind of like growing, I guess, like the, the process of growing maybe growing up or just growing and spreading your wings and flying. So I don't know, I just think it was cool. So after Wings, You Never Walk Alone started and I was like, I just heard this. But I eventually read up that it was a continuation of Wings and out of the songs that weren't on the Wings album, I would choose Spring Day, Not Today, and A Supplementary Story. And for the last album that I finished before I got here, Love Yourself, Her, it was too easy. Give me Mic Drop, DNA, and Go Go. And then I had Pied Piper and Best of Me as honorable mentions. One thing I can appreciate about BTS so far is that they'll have you thinking that like the album's gonna be primarily pop or something and then boom, RM comes in or somebody <laughs> comes in with like a rap song that has a completely different music style. And so I think most of, if not all of their albums have different music styles within the album. And I think that's cool. And if you can't tell, I am really tired. So now I'm going to go to bed. I'm not actually sleeping. I just got ready and all right. So the reason I'm in Asheville is uh, I used to play Ultimate Frisbee in college and one of my teammates hit me up a couple months ago and basically set up an alumni team uh, so that we could play and just have you know fun like we used to back in the day. I had to buy new cleats for this, like they're not even broken in. I was trying to break them in last night. I bring all that up to say that I don't know exactly how much uh, BTS I'll be able to listen to. Because currently I'm in the middle of Face Yourself and so I'm, I'm gonna try to listen to that on the way to the fields and everything. But as far as like throughout the day, no idea. So we played three games first and then now we have a bye game, which I'm kind of glad because it is pouring rain outside, but they're still out there playing. And so I'm just sitting in my car. Um, I'm gonna listen to the rest of this album now. For Face Yourself, I have Don't Leave Me, Crystal Snow, and Let Go. All the other songs were just basically repeats, but just in a different language. So that just left me with those three songs and the outro. And unfortunately, after I played Ultimate Frisbee for about, I don't know how long it was, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. basically, I felt defeated uh, right after I hung out with some friends for a little bit. And when I got back, I just took a shower and I just needed to lay down. And I have been doing that <laughs> for the rest of the day. But I did get halfway through Love Yourself Answer. It'll be interesting to see if tomorrow I can make it through the rest of their albums on my way home. Um, but I will say, I think that like if I didn't have repeat songs or songs that were just in a different language, something like that, I I think I would have gotten through their discography a lot quicker. I just think that I would have been to the point where I could just listen to any song, any album freely, even while still doing my day-to-day -day things. But you know what? Either way, it is what it is. Starting my last day, I was listening to Love Yourself Answer as I was cleaning up. By the way, this Airbnb was solid. Shout out Craig and Stephanie. I have two more games today. One's at 9 a.m. Then we have a break and then there's another one at 12 p.m. And I realized that I haven't tried to get any kind of cool like social media type video. So I'm gonna try to do that today. I got the f V and the Insta360 and I, my idea is to like follow along with the players as they're running down the field. But I have no idea what song I'm gonna use yet. If you wanna see what song I chose and that video, head on over to my social media accounts and check it out. Finally on the way home. So hopefully I'll get through the rest of the albums. If I don't, then uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but we'll figure that out when the time comes. Finished the album. That music is so loud. I finished the album that I can't remember the name of at the moment, but as of right now, tentatively, my top three are the two trivia songs and Tear or Tear or whatever. But the song Idol, I can't remember if that song was on a different album or not, but it made me want to jump while I was driving. I know. I can confirm those selections and I have Singularity, the Truth Untold and Idol as honorable mentions. I just realized that there was one thing that I haven't done yet while listening to BTS. Uh, I got a mobile order for Rally. All right, thank you. All right. Yeah, either they're having a slow day or something because my man is just in here chilling on his phone. I'm not going to tell you what Taco Bell I'm at or reveal which one I'm at because I ain't trying to rat anybody out, but he said, give me one second, close the window. He's just leaning up against the counter on his phone now. <laughs> 
Thank you. The rest of my trip consisted of me finishing Map of the Soul Persona, Map of the Soul 7, Map of the Soul 7, The Journey, B, and a little bit of proof. For Map of the Soul Persona, I have Boy With Love, Home, then Make It Right with Je Ma Vu as an honorable mention. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> I'll also add that as I was reading the lyrics, I discovered that the song Make It Right was a collaboration with Ed Sheeran. Like, did you know that? For Map of the Soul 7, I have Black Swan, My Time, and Uh with respect and on as honorable mentions. The reason I liked Uh, or however you say it, was because essentially it's a song that's like directed towards the haters. Uh, and if you take the translation, the English translation and the Korean translation, both meanings, kind of help support that song's message. For Map of the Soul 7, The Journey, which was a Japanese version album, I have these songs that I didn't see anywhere else. So I have Stay Gold, Your Eyes Tell, and then Lights. This was the first intro of one of their albums that I can recall that I actually didn't like. For B, I have Fly To My Room. You probably thought I was gonna choose Dynamite. Nah, that's second, followed by Telepathy. This was the Pandemic album, and considering the lyrics of the song, I just like Fly To My Room more for some reason. But don't get me wrong, Dynamite is a bop. Like it's one of those songs that always makes you want to dance. Kind of similar to a song like Can't Stop the Feeling or Happy. I think it's just an overall good song and a good message. Then unfortunately, as I got home, Abigail advised that I go to the ER. So uh, I may or may not have fractured or broken my foot. I'm kind of here waiting to get an x-ray to figure out, but I'm currently listening to Proof while I wait, just because I need to finish. And unfortunately I did indeed break my foot. It was during my last game of the day and I drove four hours with a broken foot and didn't even realize it. I mean, it was hurting. <laughs> but I extended my week and listened to BTS for two more days than a week, so a week and two days. And as I finished Proof, I kept having moments of like, oh, I forgot about this song. And for the album Proof, there were three new tracks and I would arrange them like this. Run BTS is number one, followed by Yet To Come and For Youth. Which leads me to my top three songs overall and my top three albums overall. And honestly, choosing my top three songs was is very difficult because I'm gonna be honest, like I could choose them today and then tomorrow they would be completely different or just at least rearranged. But I will choose Mic Drop, Lie, and I Need You Girl. <laughs> I feel like I have to say it like that every time. My top three albums are Wings, Love Yourself, Answer, and the most beautiful moment in life, Young Forever. I know they have other songs and singles that aren't necessarily on albums, like the song Butter, for example. So what I did was I listened to This Is BTS playlist on Spotify and just kind of let it shuffle through all of their discography. I also know that the ARMY or ARMY may immediately disagree with my choices, but let me just remind you, this was after sort of fully discovering them after a week, just kind of impossible to fully discover an artist within a week, but this was just after a week of listening to them and listening to their songs. The reality is I can understand why they are loved by so many, because like just listening to some of their songs, you can kind of imagine these songs being performed live or even like a choreographed dance to go with it. Maybe I should watch the music videos. But it does lead me to ask a couple questions for myself. Would I ever go see them live? Yeah, I would. I mean, I actually have a cousin who really, really loves BTS, so I would try to find a way to go see that with my cousin. Who are my favorite members? Personally, I'm gonna have to go with RM, Suga, and Jungkook. I don't know if I said that right, but you know who I'm talking about. Do you consider yourself a part of the ARMY? If you're watching this and you are a part of the ARMY or ARMY, is it the ARMY or you, do you just say ARMY? But I would say not quite for myself like more than I was before, because I didn't even know it existed. Like I knew the fan base was there, but I didn't know the fan base had a name and all that kind of stuff. I wouldn't say I'm a part of the army or army. I will also add that in my opinion, the most boy band sounding song is the song, No. Everybody say no. However, if I'm being 100% honest, I know that some of their songs and some of their music will be in my rotation. Like when they are finished doing all their mandatory service, I'll be paying attention to like when they release new music, I won't be like sitting there waiting for it to drop or anything, but I'll listen to it. I know generally people just kind of write them off because either they're a boy band or they're singing in a different language. But if you just take some time to read the lyrics, which I understand is a lot of lyrics, a lot of songs, you'll understand a little bit more. That obviously is true for a lot of things in life. But I feel like at the end of the day, they're kind of just sharing an overall positive message. Obviously they have songs that are more geared towards like their haters or more geared towards a specific girl or that kind of feeling. But I think the overall message is kind of just to love yourself. Yeah. Sunday morning feels quickly turns to afternoons. It's like that I can barely go and catch it. Kinda how I feel with you.